How do you take someone who's already been in the game so long, fought so many championship fights, and really here and there change him to the point where he gets those extra few years of really excellence? Well, you know, he's a hard worker, and I think uh, he just wasn't getting along with his tra the trainer he had because he wasn't. He was trying to change his style, and you know, all I did was bring him back to what he was before, because that was, that was what he was at his best. And so I like a 140 pound come ahead, hit your body, Kodo? Yes. I mean, you know, that's the guy that I wanted to see. I said, Yo, I don't want to see the guy that so fought Manny Pacquiao and he made 20 mistakes in that fight. And, uh, and I told him what he, the mistakes were. And, um, you know, he, again, I don't think he was. Him and his coach at that time, it didn't seem like they were on, on the same page at least. You know? and, but, you know, I was really happy about the phone call. I kind of thought it was a joke at first. I thought one of my friends calling me up, you know. And then uh, he asked me, like, yeah, he said, I, I have about three fights left. And um, I think we saw something together. But uh, so it's, it's been a good run, and uh, his work ethic's great. So that's why we're here. And then just flipping it the other way, having him at wildcard around your other fighters, around everyone in that atmosphere, how has that impacted the training of all the other guys? What does he bring to the gym and atmosphere-wise that affects well, your others? It's like him and Pacquiao, they're both great role models. I mean, if you want a kid, young kid to become a world champion, and then they have to look at these guys and see the work ethic and how, they, how hard they really do work. You know, there's a big, big difference between a club fighter and a champion. And uh, these, these guys know the difference, and it rubs off on all my fighters. It's always good to have a good fighters in the gym. Can't, I can't hurt to have a Kodo or a Pacquiao in the no, gym. No, no, thank you, thank you very much. A lot of fun. How confident are you that it is a last one? Uh, this won't be a last one. We're going to do one more, I know. But um, maybe retirement might, might be a little more difficult than he knows, because mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just... Um, it's very difficult to walk away from this game. And uh, but, uh, whoever's next, um, you know, uh, I'm sure it'll be a big fight. And, um, um, and then I wish him well. And then the thing is, he'll be, he'll be my friend forever. Well, he's being a, you know, if he wins, now he's a champion. So then it changes the game a little bit as far as how much longer he's a well, if you were to win. It, it does change things a little bit and so forth. And depending on who the next, next opponent may be, and uh, there's a lot of big names out there at that division right now, and um, there's some great fights. So there's some, some fights that I, I like and some fights maybe I dislike. But the thing is, all good fights, though. He's, I mean, he's, he's, in, he's in a stacked division right now. The weight club is getting bigger and bigger.